Today I want to share something a bit different with you. A journey into finding the best PMO in the world. No, I didn't just go and look in the mirror, though I'm flattered that you'd think so. No, I mean finding the best PMO team. If you've ever been fortunate enough to work in an organization that had an effective PMO, you'll appreciate the effort that goes into making that function work. A great PMO can make a huge difference to the success rates of your projects and the realization of your strategic goals. And this is a great way for those PMOs to get the recognition they deserve. This is an inside look at my experience of judging the PMO Global Awards. If you're in the project management world, you've probably heard of these awards. But even if you haven't, stick around because there's something here for everyone. The PMO Global Awards isn't just another award show. It's a celebration of the best PMO teams from around the globe, but it's also fiercely competitive as it elevates the best teams through a series of knockout contests to the world final with results being announced at a conference at the end of the year. About three years ago, I was approached to join in the judging process for the PMO Global Awards. It's been a privilege to be one of the judges, and let me tell you, it's been an eye-opening experience. Not just because of the high standards these teams are setting, but also because of what we can learn from their approaches, their strategies and execution. I've just finished reviewing the first of the submissions. It's really interesting to see how a lot of PMOs have a very common beginning. They have common problems, things like strategic alignment, um, inconsistent delivery and so on. And the good thing about these awards is it gets to show you how, no matter how bad things are when you get started, no matter how big the challenge is, within just a few years, you could be competing to be the best in the world if you just follow the process, if you just map what's missing and make a logical roadmap to take you to a point of excellence. Let's talk about why these awards are so important. We work in a world where businesses and organizations are constantly trying to adapt and innovate, which means they need to keep going through this constant cycle of change. So having a strong PMO capability in place can make a huge difference for them. The PMO Global Awards shines a spotlight on the PMO teams that aren't just keeping up, but are leading the way. They're the ones who are championing best practices, setting benchmarks, and ultimately making sure their organizations succeed and we all get to celebrate that. For me, being part of this is about more than just giving out a trophy. It's about recognizing the hard work, the late nights, the relentless pursuit of excellence that these teams bring to the table. And honestly, it's inspiring. I've seen different organizations' roadmaps and some of them run on for a huge amount of time, years and years and years. And the contestants that I just saw They've gone from being low maturity to highly innovative, high maturity, very high maturity. And they've done it all in the space of four years. And they've just made a logical roadmap and moved from a state where things were not in control to a position where things are not just in control anymore, but they are innovative, they are exceptional leaders, they've got exceptional focus on value. This is really inspiring stuff. As judges, we look at PMO evolution, client service, best practices, innovation, community engagement, and value creation. Each team knows what we're looking for, and they provide evidence to back up their claims. And it almost sneaked past me right at the bottom of their list. Strategic alignment. 50% of their projects were aligned before the PMO came along. Now it's up to 85%. There's still some room for improvement there, but just think about that. That 35% improvement on the number of projects that are now aligned to delivering a strategic goal for the organization. That's impressive. Each judge is given a video submission from two different PMO teams. We watch, we analyze, and we assess. The scores are fed into an overall total where the team with the highest score progresses. It's a bit like a knockout tournament where each round gets us closer to finding out the best of the best. What really makes it interesting is the diversity in the approaches these teams take. Despite the scoring criteria being shared with the entrants, no two PMOs are the same, and that's reflected in their submissions. They all have different strengths. 
Some focus on best practices, others on innovation, whilst some emphasize how they engage with their community to deliver excellent results. As a judge, it's not just about picking a winner. It's about understanding the journey they've taken to get here and understand why they selected that approach and how it impacted on their results. But there's no one size fits all approach. So everyone finds different ways to achieve their objective. So for the judges, this award is as much of a learning experience as it is a competition. I've just concluded the presentation of the second participant and it's an interesting contrast in how they've presented their accomplishments to how the other team had done. I could see from this presentation that they were trying to overcome a very unusual challenge if you happen to not live in the part of the world that they do, where they are still working their way out of Soviet standards of project management, not Russian, Soviet, and trying to move more into a Western way of working. This is really fascinating. It's given me an insight into how change is delivered in other parts of the world and the different challenges that people are facing. One thing that really stood out to me during the judging process was the sheer quality of the submissions. These teams aren't just showing off, they're sharing their playbooks. And for anyone who's serious about project management, there's a lot to take away. I found myself taking notes, not just as a judge, but as someone who wants to improve in my own work. And whether it was innovative ways to manage stakeholders or new techniques for managing a portfolio of projects, or whether it was just the level of transparency these teams maintain in their reporting and communication, it was all so valuable. And I'm not ashamed to say, I implemented whatever I saw that worked well and translated well to my organization. And that's why I think more people should be paying attention to these awards. It's not just about who wins and loses. It's about what we can all learn from these world-class teams. They're setting the bar and we can all benefit from that. From going through three years worth of submissions, I've learned a lot that can be applied across all industries. But one thing that seems consistent amongst the highest performers is how successful PMOs get their leadership on board early on. This support is foundational and has to be one of the first building blocks of a successful PMO. Yet many PMOs fail because they skip this step. The best submissions often included testimonials from senior execs, even CEOs, highlighting the PMO's impact on their organization. So if you work in a PMO and you don't feel you have the leadership of your organization behind you, I strongly recommend that you apply this lesson from the best teams and start reaching out to your leaders. Share with them your purpose and the value that you bring to the organization and ask them to support you so that you can help them to achieve their goals. Some of the statistics they've provided as well to demonstrate the outcomes of having an effective PMO are astounding. Their budget adherence has gone from 60% before there was a PMO to 90% afterwards. Their time to market has gone from 24 months to 18 months. Think about that. Think about having that conversation with your CEO saying, you know what? We can do things so much faster now. We can knock a quarter of the time off the time to market. And people call PMOs a cost center. If you're part of a PMO team, I can't recommend enough that you consider participating in future awards. It's not just about the recognition. It's about pushing yourself and your team to new heights. You may recall from that thinking that you're not ready and you're not good enough to share what you're doing. But when you're working on your submission, you're forced to take a step back and really assess what you've accomplished. It's an opportunity to celebrate your wins, but also to identify areas where you can improve. And knowing that you've just stepped up in a really big way, you'll feel compelled to improve those areas. No matter how you perform in the contest, just taking those steps will bring you measurably closer to being a world-class PMO. And that's only gonna be a good thing for you and your organization. Additionally, the judges can give feedback, which can be incredibly valuable. It's like getting an audit from the most dedicated professionals in the world. After all, they're volunteering to take time out of their lives to participate and improve the profession. Their feedback will be focused on celebrating your strengths and helping you to build on them whilst advising you on how to improve your weaker areas so you're more effective in the future. Wow, this is unexpected and uh, I'm really happy about it. I've been selected to be one of the judges for 
the, the final. Uh, and it's the top six. So the, the winners of all the regions, Africa, Asia Pacific, Europe, Latin America, North America, and the Middle East. So I'm gonna review the top six PMOs in the world and their work. It's gonna take a few hours. <laughs> it's gonna take a few hours to get through all that. But can you imagine how much I'm going to learn from that experience? How much I'm going to pick up from the six best PMO teams on the planet? It's amazing. So why does this all matter? Because staying still in this fast paced world is the same as falling behind. The teams that compete in the PMO Global Awards are the ones who understand that. They're not just surviving. They're thriving by constantly evolving and constantly improving. The PMO Global Awards aren't just about the best PMO team, they're about highlighting what's possible when you push the boundaries of what a PMO can achieve. It's about celebrating excellence and using it as a benchmark to drive us all forward. Whether you're working in project management or you're just someone who's looking to get better at what you do, there's a lot to learn from these teams. And that's what I hope you take away from this video. If you did find this video helpful or inspiring, consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one.